This tutorial will show how to use the Custom Report Writer feature in SAP 2000 for creating professional looking reports containing both input and output data. For this analyze model of a simple planar frame with two load cases, we will generate a report on joint coordinates and displacements that will look something like this. Reports may be generated by going to the File, Custom Report Writer command. Reports are created from information contained in database files, and these files may already exist or be created at the time when you generate the report, which is what we will do in this case. With the database form, we have the option of sending out all the input data or some subset of data, and we will choose Sum. Under the Definitions tab, we have five categories of input data, and for this report, we will select the joint coordinates under Geometry Data, and the load cases under Loads. For the output data, we will also select some. For this case, all we want are displacements under the Joint Output category. Clicking the OK button creates the database and the list of tables available is displayed under Report Setup. Note again that we have joint coordinates, joint displacements, load case definitions, and program control. Program control is automatically sent out. In addition to the database tables, a number of other items may be added to the report, such as section headings, text, pictures, and breaks. We will start by adding a section heading. Note that the text may be in any language, which allows you to identify your input and output in a language other than English. Next, we will add our first table, Joint Coordinates. The program knew to locate the table after the section heading due to the insertion point. Next, add the load case table. Before we add the displacements table, insert a page break. We will also add some text. Now we can add the joint displacement tables. If an item is incorrectly positioned in the report, you may move it up or down the list by using the arrow keys. Next we will look at some of the format options. First is the database table formats, where you can use the program defaults or a user defined file. You also have control over the page setup, such as the size of the paper and margin spacings. The font setup lets you control the fonts for the various headings, titles, text, and tables. It is always a good idea to save the named report so that you may edit it later if need be. Before we create the report, let's review our options for file type. The report file may be created in rich text format, plain text, or in HTML. We will use rich text format for this example. Now we can create the report, which we will name Report. As we had requested, the report automatically opens up in Microsoft Word, displaying the tables for joint coordinates, load cases, and joint displacements.
With our report done, we can now leave the Create Custom Report form. However, upon further review, we decide that we wish to add a picture to our report. We may do so by going back to the Custom Report Writer command and opening our previously saved report named Report. For this example, we will add a picture right after the page break. To do this, highlight the page break in the list and click on the After Selected Item option. Then click on the Picture button. We will import a JPEG file named Report, which shows a deformed shape. We may add a caption to this picture and then control the caption location alignment and picture alignment. Note that the file has been added to our list. Clicking on the Create Report button displays our new report. With the picture and caption added at the top of the second page. This concludes this tutorial.